Aloha. Welcome to another edition of Military in Hawaii. Uh, for those of you who may not have seen the program before, we're relatively new. And uh, we talk about issues that concern the uh, military and veterans community over here. And we invite your response. Uh, our main thing is, to be, as I mentioned in the past, is to be informative. Uh, we try to bring, uh, not we try, we will bring you factual information that's going to be beneficial to you. Uh, as I mentioned in the past, um, there's less than like roughly 1% of the American population is involved in the military. And um, these are individuals, again, who are very dedicated to what they do. Like I say, it's all volunteer service. And uh, the thing is, we always we try to talk about what's happening with the some of the things that support them. And one of the big issues um, currently and also in the past has been medical treatments. Uh, we have a very good VA facility over here. Uh, but the one thing is there is always room for improvement sometimes, and I know there's certain questions that come up with the veterans and military community about some of the stories that have uh, recently developed about what's happening in Phoenix, Arizona, and a few other places around the country. But by and large, I think that uh, the treatment is good. Uh, but sometimes there's systemic issues that do come about. And as I mentioned, like I say, with very relatively few um, families to have military members or associated with the military, uh, sometimes you're not aware of what's going on. And what we try to encourage people to do is get involved. When you do hear these things in the news or whatever, or you're, you're especially here in Hawaii, we have a very large veterans population. And uh, it doesn't hurt to get involved and find out what's going on. There's certain... Um, uh, legislative initiatives that come about that affect our military as well as not only a local but also on the national level and our thing is to remind people that we need to keep our elected officials feast to the fire when it comes to making sure that the benefits and the rights of our military communities not only active the veterans but also their dependents they have a play a very big role in what's happening within the military community and the sacrifices they have to make but right now uh, I'd like to introduce Miss Kim Lovell to the program Hi, thank you for having me oh thank you for being here uh, could you tell us your connection with the military or the veterans community yes I um, own and am the president of a wound service optimal wound solutions mm -hmm. and we have in the past I have done a lot of work with veterans on their wounds um, not only wounds but therapy needs but I'm specializing right now now in the therapy the wound aspect for the veterans which right. is a huge need mm -hmm. all over the country but definitely in our state yeah well, we're gonna get more into this but more about your background how did you get into the medical field uh, I understand you have a son that's in the military now I do I have yeah. a son he's a marine and mm -hmm. I'm extremely proud of him for yeah. serving his country thank okay. you thank you I am a physical therapist mm -hmm. I've been a physical therapist now for over 23 years wow. and have worked with wounds for 23 years now so I have I started as a physical therapist in um, skilled nursing facilities, work with pediatrics, outpatients, and hospitals, but primarily uh, really work in the skilled nursing and outpatient areas. Right. And through that, work with a lot of veterans, yeah. a lot of veterans who have had the need. I've studied under different physicians for wounds, and I am board certified as a certified wound specialist. All right. Okay. So you don't work directly for the VA? You no, just, I don't. Okay. Um, because as I mentioned before, um, we do have, with the facility over here, there are um, you know, quality service that's provided, but uh, that doesn't mean there can't be improvements in what's happening mm -hmm. with the uh, different techniques. And I know that, uh, again, in the past, uh, with the way things were going with the some of the services that were provided, there's new and innovative uh, types of uh, things that come about that, like I say, would definitely uh, benefit, you know, improve the quality of life for a lot of our veterans and military personnel. But because of the way things are set up in Washington, for the most part, you know, the system is that a lot of things are not inter readily introduced into the system that would be beneficial to the, you know, to the uh, the veterans and, the, and their families. Because in one thing, especially with the veterans community, uh, a lot of times there's a delay in veterans' benefits that come about you know so sometimes you have to pay out of pocket for certain things you know right. so if there's certain things that's in place as far as being able to help you alleviate certain pains and discomfort and you know the em emotional aspect of it also exactly. you know not only for the uh, one that's being treated but for their families for the last thing you want to do is see someone that you love suffers you know so I know that what you're trying to introduce you're trying to introduce certain things into the with to the VA yes uh, so, I am yeah. uh -huh. yes we have such a passion to help 
yeah. veterans, of course. Um, our our family has been involved in the military uh, for years. Um, mm. Grandfathers, uncles, fathers, yep. sons. So uh, many of that. And there are exactly, as, as you just said, there's so many new techniques. Mm -hmm. We have learned so many things in the past oh gosh, 20, 10, 5 years yeah. that are going to progress the treatment that can help mm -hmm. um, our veterans more and more to save limbs, right. to close wounds up quicker where we can decrease the cost for that mm -hmm. and we can improve the quality of life for the veterans. Yeah. So to have the most up-to-date treatments um, and a specialist, a consultant that's right there helping, mm -hmm. our veterans are going to get so much better care yeah. than, that, than they would have in the past. So that's our passion. Right. That's what we want to work with. So what response have you been getting? I know that, again, we have with the system, we have a lot of dedicated people who are involved. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes there's a bottleneck, you know, that yes. happens. And again, I think a lot of times it comes from the policies that set out of Washington. Uh, is there anybody that's in a position to help champion what you're trying to do? Uh, be, be getting involved or how's it working? You know, we are so new in the process uh -huh. of trying to get this through. We have met with a couple people and they've been very helpful in giving us more names. Mm -hmm. um, we are in the process of reaching out to some other um, officials or persons within the VA yep. that we're hoping will help us. But, you know, at this point in time, we haven't gotten to the right person yeah. yet. So that's what we're hoping to do because right. we want to champion this. We want to join together yeah. with the military and the VA to champion um, healing yeah. of, our, of our military. Yeah, well, speaking of championing, you know, we have, um, uh, you know, as I mentioned, I, I call on the public to get involved, you know. So when there is something going on, there is a bottleneck. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to go ahead and call your, you know, representative and say, well, look, there's something going on here that can be better, you know, right. can be beneficial to our, our veterans. You know, what are you, what is your stance on it? Are you behind it, you know? Um, and if not, if it's something that is really worthwhile, why not, you know? Right. And, you know, to, again, to put that additional, I wouldn't say pre oh, pressure, yeah, you know, to have them act in a more expeditious way, you know? So, right. Yeah. Well, definitely. We, we are very willing to reach out to anybody we need to. Mm -hmm. And we're also, one thing, it's, it's our... Our company is really a mission as yeah. well. Uh, we, we just have that passion um, and we have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of information, new clinical information that's come up and around yeah. that we can get in there yeah. to the people that we can start using. Mm -hmm. um, and so we do, we, we want to get there with people. We want to help in any way that we can. Right. And we want to contact whoever we need yeah. to contact or have anybody feel free to contact us mm -hmm. if we can help them progress um, yeah. the healing of wounds. Yeah. Um, what are, what are some of the new techniques, so like, okay, for limbs, for example, you mentioned mm -hmm. before that there's something where sometimes the skin retracts or whatever, mm -hmm. and it causes a little bit of exposure with the actual bone. Yes. What, you know, in lay terms, if you possibly explain, you know, to the audience what that entails or how that really improves the well, quality I, of life. I think one of the big things is correct diagnosis. Yeah. And to get that information out into the physician's hands, it's very difficult when you have uh, veterans that perhaps are at a skilled nursing facility mm -hmm. that don't have as much availability to the diagnostics right on hand in that facility. Right. And then they have to be transferred to a hospital or to a wound center mm -hmm. in order to get the diagnostics. So one thing that we have available to us are pulsed volume readings that are available now within the skilled facilities. Mm -hmm. One thing that um, has been around for a while but have not been utilized or I uh, think type of uh, a little bit of um, diagnostics called ankle brachial indexes that we can do that. Right. Now, that's one aspect of it. So once we get that proper diagnosis, mm -hmm. then there are all different types of medications that have come aboard. Right. We um, have old medications that are coming back that have been updated, mm -hmm. that we see amazing work with decreasing the dead tissue within right. wounds yep. and improving that good healing tissue to mm -hmm. come back through. So um, different di uh, different uh, dressing types, different medications to put on the wound, mm -hmm. uh, actual interaction type of medications where you have negative pressure pulling out good tissue within the wound. So all different aspects of um, just new treatments yeah. along with 
looking at the diagnostics along with a weekly consultation or assessment at the bedside with that patient. Yeah. So we can make sure that everything is going right and you don't wait two or three weeks to go back and be able to see a physician. Yeah. You get it right then and there so we can have progress mm -hmm. and no lags in time. Okay. So with the service you provided augments what the doctor would do because it's not yes. saying calling no doctors incompetent or anything like that. And absolutely it's not. It's the thing that, you know, because of their work skills and everything else, they not, may not be aware of the new technologies or advancements in that because you know, they may not specialize in that in that field anyhow so you but yeah by coming on and you're augmenting what they provide you know again you're not it's not detracting from the from the doctor Absolutely. it's just making them more informed of what's going on I, that's your, your that's favorite. exactly right we work together with the doctor yeah. so he usually he or she are so extremely busy uh -huh. the need for medic medical services on our islands all yeah. of our islands is a big need yeah. and so because they are so busy we augment the doctor basically uh -huh. we can go in and put our hands and and our eyes on that patient and report back to the doctor immediately what's going on yeah. we can also use some type of a telemedication uh -huh. so if we do need that physician right then and there uh -huh. We can view in on in an encrypted Skype type yeah. of aspect, and he's right in the room, or she's yeah. right in the room with us. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to touch on. You're yes. reading my mind on that one because, yeah, if you have, uh, you know, if someone comes to you and they are, you know, um, you make them aware of what's going on, mm -hmm. and they go back to their doctor. Sometimes, if the patient, you know, tries to bring it up, then you know they're company, and the, the, you know, then the question comes up. You know, like where did you get information, or are you are you questioning my uh, my ability? You know, but as you mentioned, yeah. like say with your with your you coming in, you know, and advising or you know informing the doctor of these new things, I uh, think yeah, that makes it a lot more better anyhow. You know, so because we do have a lot of people, you know, in our community who are. Um, suffering from these different, you know, wounds and mm -hmm. issues you're talking about. And um, again, it's just that, again, not saying the doctor's incompetent, Absolutely. but again, just to make sure that uh, they're better informed of what's going on. Because overall it does, you know, as you say, cuts down on the costs. And the main thing is the making sure that the best possible service is provided to those in need that really deserve it. Anyway. That's right. Yeah. We're just, we are an extra set of eyes and yeah. hands for right. that physician to report back to them. And, and because we have been able to specialize in this field and, and usually a physician has so many different aspects, yeah. we can give them more information mm -hmm. that, that they may need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, one thing I do notice is not only what the services you provide, but there's also, um, um, yeah, other alternative uh, medicines that's yes. out there, you know, and again, uh, we, with the bottleneck in Washington, I'm going to lay it on their doorstep for the most part, because um, it, we have new things that come about, you know, and they seem, in, again, in some cases to be reluctant, you know, uh, to, you know, even explore it in some cases, you know, because it's not the traditional, you know, type of medicine treatment anyhow, you know, but I'm quite sure there's quite a few things out there, you know, that um, are not being adequately, uh, not only from my perspective, from other people's point of view, is that, you know, should be closely, you know, looked into, you know, because if it's going to cut down on the medications, if there's something like, say, it's not working traditionally, you know, and there is an alternative as far as with homeopathic or whatever, you know, not that it's the end-all, be-all to all, you know, medical issues, but, you know, there are some proven things out there that either have been suppressed or ignored in certain aspects of the uh, military, I mean, uh, the um, medical field, you know, especially with the military time. That, that is a great point. Oh. That's a fantastic point. Mm -hmm. uh, really good example of that. Honey, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Honey. Homeo oh, I thought you were calling me honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey. No, honey is a is um, gosh has been used in wounds yeah. since the Egyptian times. Really? Right? Yes. Uh -huh. They have found honey in tombs mm -hmm. of of past pharaohs, and it's an amazing healing yeah. aspect to wounds. Uh -huh. And we didn't use honey for many many years. It was thought of uh, really you're going to put honey in a wound. Yeah. It is one of the primary wound healers now uh -huh. that's being used in traditional medicine. Yeah. Uh, there are other things that are new that are coming aboard, um, different types of silvers. We do use silver in wounds right now, but yeah. different types of silvers that haven't been used. Some yeah. are, are being looked at internally mm -hmm. uh, to take internally as well as topically to put yeah. on a wound. Right. Um, there's all types of uh, different type of um, cartilages yeah. that we're looking at mm -hmm. uh, that can be put in 
and emollients mm -hmm. on wounds mm -hmm. to help but also take systemically yeah. so there are a lot of exciting things okay. on the breakthrough um, but have not been approved yet good okay i tell you what, we're going to take a short break okay. and give uh, if there's any viewers out there that may want to call in and you know ask you a few questions sure or thing. whatever you know be more than happy to get their take on it and they can call in at uh, 415-871 2474 and that's 451 oh, excuse me 415-871-2474 and we'll be back in a moment aloha howard wig i am the proud host of code green think tech hawaii i appear every other monday at three in the afternoon do not tune in in the morning my topic is energy efficiency it sounds dry as heck but it's not we're paying five billion dollars a year for imported oil my job is to shave that shave that shave that down in homes and buildings while delivering better comfort better light better air conditioning better everything so if you're interested in your future you'd better tune in to me three o'clock every other Monday, code green, aloha, and thank you very much. Okay, and welcome back to Military in Hawaii. And then uh, today, my guest is um, Miss um, Kim Lovell. And again, thank you, Alexa. You were, before we took the break, we mentioned about uh, different treatments, some of the older stuff that like, people mm -hmm. weren't aware of. Because one of the things that uh, um, back in the day, they used to use maggots to clean wounds, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think in some circumstances, you know, they still do they still do that? Oh, they do. Yeah. Maggots are one of the best wound breeders there are. Uh -huh. Now, um, there is, you know, there are sterile maggots. Yeah. So Not that's the kind you just yeah. Out of the <laughs> okay. Right. Sure. So, and I always used to think sterile was clean. Now, sterile, they they can't reproduce yeah. while they're. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So right. So there are sterile maggots, and they're an excellent resource. Um, if you have come and you've tried a lot of different things mm -hmm. and you're just not getting the results that you want, yeah. we have so many tools in our pocket to mm -hmm. use right now mm -hmm. that uh, we need to make that aware yeah. of all of the different aspects, all the different things that we have readily available at our fingertips, yeah. but we don't know all of those things and it's very difficult mm -hmm. to know them all. Yeah. So to have somebody who can consult with you yeah. and say, these are the things that are available and I've seen this work well and this yeah. hasn't worked so well, mm -hmm. but let me share that experience with you so we can heal this person up yeah. quicker. Okay. I know that, uh, unfortunately, with the way things are going in the, um, uh, the different uh, the hostile theaters that our troops are dealing in, mm. you see certain common wounds that are there. What is the most common wound that you see uh, physically? I know could be, uh, we'll get into the um, psychological thing also, to possibly some of the treatments you have right. that could alleviate you know, some of the uh, emotional stress. But what are some of the common wounds that you do see that, again, that are not really, um, let's just say that there's certain things that could be approved upon that could make the healing process better or you know, less traumatic, if that's possible. Well, for our, for our VA mm -hmm. out there, not the active military troops, but for the VA, we have, um, gosh, a couple of that are extremely common, vascular, mm -hmm. vascular wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, wounds that either are um, caused by a lack of arterial blood flow to the wound mm -hmm. or too much wound uh, blood that's accumulating down because your veins aren't working quite so mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So that's one aspect. And, and there are some very simple treatments that we can do, mm -hmm. but a lot of times either because the patient doesn't want to do them mm -hmm. or the, um, uh, the professional that's working with them it is not quite aware of that. Mm -hmm. Those are some very common wounds, especially to our state. Mm -hmm. um, the other ones are pressure ulcers, basically, are a very, very common wound. Like bed sores? Bed sores, okay. right. right. Pressure ulcers are a common wound, especially on those vets that maybe don't have the mobility that mm -hmm. they used to have. Yeah. Um, or they have lack of people that are caring for them. Mm -hmm. Maybe they just don't have the resources. Unfortunately, we do see some of our um, younger vets that don't have those. They don't have uh, loved ones there anymore to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And so they're left in the home. And, mm -hmm. and so we have a lot of pressure wounds. So, yeah. um, But pressure wounds and vascular wounds, mm -hmm. and the vascular including diabetic mm -hmm. in there. So those are the common wounds yeah. that we see. And again, there are tons of new products, tons of new um, 
treatments out for these wounds that can improve that quality of life. Yeah, because one thing like with the um, with the military medical uh, environment, a lot of things that were developed uh, because of combat situation or hostile environment, mm -hmm. you know, that segue over into the civilian populace. So they're the benefit mm -hmm. of a lot of uh, maybe some things that came about, you know, that right. in a regular civilian type of environment, it would have took years to go ahead and try to develop these different protocols and whatever. But in a military environment where you have to really, you know, you constantly try to update what you have, you know, right. especially improve. And again, it's not, you know, not experimenting, but because of, you know, the situation where it does arrive, you have this situation, and then that's when people become more innovative when they're, uh, they're addressing certain things. But yeah, you mentioned with the vascular, um, ties in with the diabetes, as you mentioned, things of that nature. And here in Hawaii, you understand the um, rate of diabetes is very high over here, you know? So again, you know, overall, like say it benefits the community and it also overall saves on the amount of money, but it has to be outlaid by certain agencies, you know, to help support people who are not financially able you know, to do so, you mm -hmm. know? So, yeah. But one of the things we do is we don't just take and look at just the wound itself. We yeah. put the person as a a whole complete yeah. person and we look at the nutritional aspects because that's one of the aspects of diabetes yeah. right mm -hmm. um, so we look at the nutrition with them we look at the have the physician be involved we have the nurse be involved we have therapists be involved in case of modality mm -hmm. such as electrical stimulation to improve blood yeah. flow within the wound or yeah. a diathermy or um, a ultrasound to actually increase blood flow into the wound we put all of those people in touch with each other yeah. so it encompasses that way and I, and I believe as you said with the military mm -hmm. one of the big things is they have to get those wounds right. taken care of in the field very quickly yeah. so they do come up with some of the best treatment plans that's how the use of maggots really came yeah. up right so and now we're using it systemically throughout the population yeah. as a great source of debridement or removing the dead tissue from wounds right so yeah for for someone out there let um um, seeks your help, okay, and um, yeah, it, you have like a, a training process that you could use, I mean, you know, you can provide the services, mm -hmm. but as far as like a follow-up to help to cut down on the, um, some, you know, medical costs or whatever, is there certain things that you have in place where you can treat, I mean, or you can uh, instruct someone, a loved one, on how to... Definitely. Okay. Right. Definitely. What we do is we go in, we do weekly rounds in yeah. whatever um, arena we're in, whether it be a skilled nursing, nursing facility, home health, a yeah. hospital, outpatient. We'll do weekly rounds. We'll pull all the different properties together, the nutritionist, the physician, the, the nursing and therapy. We'll do all that. And then we do education with them. Mm -hmm. And if the family member is involved, we'll educate the family member. Mm -hmm. Then what we do is we go back and we'll do quarterly one-on-one -on -one training sessions mm -hmm. um, with anybody who needs it. Right. We will also look and make sure that we are getting the outcomes that we need. So it's almost like a quality analysis, yep. right? So we'll go back, we'll look at all the different treatments that were used, what didn't work well, what did work well, mm -hmm. and what training did we do that maybe needs to be improved upon? Mm -hmm. uh, what what do the family members need? Yeah. What what type of help do they need? What do this um, the different uh, professions need mm -hmm. to improve so we can get? Because it's not just about that wound being healed; it's about the quality of life yeah. for that patient, and that's what we want to see. Yeah. We want to see them happy. We want to see them living their mm -hmm. life and not just sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know that you mentioned you're trying to make contact with the VA system to yes. get an end to it anyhow. Um, is there anything that um, can be done by the viewers or, like, say, people who are concerned, you know, to, like, say, not put pressure on them, but to have them evaluate what you have, you know, to see if it is going to be, you know, if it plays out where it's beneficial yeah. to our, our service members? Well, that would be great if they could um, just call the representatives uh -huh. perhaps as well as call the VA and ask them to get optimal wound solutions yep. into the system yep. so we can begin improving the healing of the patients yep. so. what I'll tell you what, we're, what I'm going to do we're going to go ahead and do a follow-up program anyhow and what Great. I'm going to do I'm going to invite the um, um, 
the appropriate people from the VA Great. to come on and, like say, and have a discussion. And again, you know, what this is as far as, because besides what you have to present, I want to, you know, give them the opportunity to, see, you know, say, well, okay, well, there's certain things we have in place that, you know, that may even, you know, are similar to what you're providing, but not exactly, you know, so, right. but just to give a, you know, a good balance of what's, what's out there, you know, what they have to offer, you know, so we don't give the impression that they're trying to shortchange the veterans or anything right. like that, you know, so we will give them, uh, you know, the opportunity to come on and join us in the discussion, you know, because I really think this is very beneficial, not only to the individuals in the military community, but of course, to the public in general, right. you know. So we will do that. We'll extend the, uh, the offer to the VA, and um, um, hopefully we'll join in the conversation. If not, you know, in person, uh, we can all technically we have the ability to go ahead and hook it up where they Wonderful. can do it. And we'll try to get in touch with people in Washington also, um, again, because that's where, as I mentioned before, the bottleneck lies in a lot of cases. Right. Right. So uh, we'll ask them directly, you know, what you know their take on it is you know so we can take it from there well thank you very much and thanks for having me out today oh, like say, i appreciate that oh yeah, uh, that's what we we do that's what we're here for to go ahead and try to Great. provide information that's going to be you know beneficial to you know to our viewers anyhow you know that's Wonderful. the main thing but i want to thank you for your service and what you you know you provide and also the service of your son and all his compatriots out there also you know oh, um yeah. getting out the wire but is there anything that you want to Put out to the, the viewers. I mean, you could like to give out the contact number or anything. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. If if you would like more information on Optimal Wound Solutions and how we can help you, please contact us at 808-772-0291, or you can contact us at Kim at Optimal Wound Solutions. Uh, we look forward to you, and I just want to thank all of our military for their help. It is an honor honor to be helping the military back. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, well, like I said, we do everything we possibly can anyhow because, um, again, not to stress it enough because sometimes there's uh, businesses over here that do help, um, you know, you know, our military, you know. So um, it's not that, you know, you're really trying to, you know, it's a business, but you're providing the service also, you know, and that's what I try to do as far as bringing individuals on, you know, who can augment, you know, the system that right. sometimes is a little bit slightly flawed, you know. Well, thank you. We'll thank you very much. Well, and I wish you the best. Well, like I said, we we'll keep on trying. Like I said, with your help and, you know, other people who are concerned like you, you know, we can do what we can, you know, in, you know, for the, um, for the, in general, for the public, anyhow, Wonderful. you know, because well, we're thank here you. together, anyhow. Thank so you. I guess we're down to the wire on this. And, um, okay, I uh, want to thank all of you for joining us here on the program again. And, um, in the future, like I said, if there's anything, my standing um, invitation, if you hear anything that I say in the error or my guess or whatever, feel free to call in or we'll give you time to come on and straighten us out, you know. But um, we will provide factual information, but it's always good to have a open and honest dialogue, which we will provide here. No, we're not cutting any, no shortcuts. We're not here to incite. We're here to inform. And I want to thank all of you for joining us today for the program. And again, thank you, thank you very much. Thank again. you. Thanks.